All right, we now move down to the strut itself. Um, we want to uh, install our hydraulic hose to the strut, pull the collar back, put it on the fitting, make sure it's securely fastened. Uh, our strut has been pre-sized to the trench we're going to be working in. We check our um, operating range, 36 to 47 inches. We know we're roughly working with a 42 inch opening, so this falls well within the range. Uh, before we install the strut, we want to make sure we have everything set up and ready to go. Make sure our pins are properly in the top of the strut, not in the bottom. We we'll put our um, installation ropes on each end. Make sure all our pins are through and the bearings are out each hole. And just make sure that we inspect the strut to make sure it's ready to go in the trench. All right, we're now ready to install our first strut system. As you can see, there is a trench boss or a rescue supervisor at the end of the trench. What his job is going to be is to uh, establish the placement of these struts. Uh, the two uh, rescuers on the end, their job is to establish that it is square in between the uh, fin form panels. All right, the commands we're going to use on these is going to be lower ram and lower base. All right, so uh, the rescuer at the end of the trench will instruct the, uh, the uh, gentleman on the ropes to lower the strut once it is in place. He is going to uh, uh, assure that it is square in the trench, and then we're going to call for our command to feather. All right, down in the trench now, we're going to discuss how we uh, installed this first strut. As you can see, it is square, and it is uh, square with the panels, and it is level with our trench floor. This is imperative. Like I said, you go back to that double funnel effect. It's got to be level. It's got to be square. Also, if you notice, there is no actual mechanical capture of the trench panels to the hydraulic shores. These ropes will stay on this shore at all times. If this shore were to depressurize, these ropes are what's going to keep it from falling to the trench floor. Uh, what they're going to do now is lower this, the uh, second strut into the hole uh, using our operating rods or our lowering rods. Uh, these can be used in conjunction with the ropes. Gives you a little bit more control, a little bit easier replacement. Our trench boss is still going to call the commands from the end of the trench. He's going to line the strut up. Now he has a nice uh, reference point where he can call level from his first strut. That's why it's imperative that that first strut gets set level and gets set square. Lower base. Lower, lower, lower. Stop. Feather. Good here. Stop. Lower base. Stop. You guys square. Good. Pressurize. All right, our second strut is now in place. Uh, once again, you can see our spacing here, well within the four foot parameters. Uh, we take our ropes, tie them off to the top of the strong back. Like I said before, there is no mechanical capture of these, uh, of these shots. All right, on the hydraulic shores themselves, if you have the ample equipment, these hoses can stay attached throughout the entire operation. Uh, if you do not have ample equipment and you need to reuse uh, these hoses, these hoses will be removed from these struts uh, with our large tool, uh, uh, hose tools that we have up top side, and I'll demonstrate that here in a minute, how we remove all these fittings from top side. You never have to have anybody down in the hole to do that process. You can see he's taking the tool, he's hooking it in behind the handle. The flange here fits inside the fitting, and all he has to do is one uh, quick motion back and that hose will pop off. The strut is now self-contained with the pressure inside from our one-way valve here. Uh, one note of caution to remember about your hydraulic struts. There is, like I said, no mechanical capture of this strut at all. What is holding all this earth back is the hydraulic pressure inside the strut itself. If this valve were to become struck with an object, with a tool, etc., it will release pressure. So always be careful to uh, be, operate very gingerly around these uh, hydraulic valves. Because if this gets depressed and that pressure is released, this strut will collapse. 